Hey guys, it don't happen again, no. They don't kill again in the Sokoto state. The same issue of blasphemy. Now, so they take kill Deborah Yakubo, say she blasphemed against Prophet Muhammad. And say, cause say that killing now, till today now, we never see find those people when kill that girl. Now, another one don't happen again. You see, now these things we they talk, oh. Nigerian don't turn to no man's land. We don't even know how many constitutions they this country when we they use. Something go happen like this. Uh -huh. They know when you not take, you put seriousness, put for the matter, find those people when do that thing. I am telling you that thing is going to repeat again. And this is just the beginning. If after killing Deborah Yakubo and with all those police talk this and that and all that, even people, foreigners don't talk for the matter puts and these people still do another one. Now NBC not go stop all. Nigeria has turned to no man's land. People come out and do whatever they like. And no one is being held accountable for all their deeds. What is going on here? A butch identified as Husma Buddha has been killed in Sokoto, northwest Nigeria, for allegedly blaspheming Prophet Muhammad, according to Daily Trust. The butcher allegedly made the comment during... The I beg your pardon, argument with another trader at the Sokoto main abattoir around 8 a.m. on Sunday. Our leaders made a fruitless attempt to save him, but they could not contain the crowd. They initially rescued him and hide him before they were overpowered. Hmm. The same matter again. No? He was beaten to death by his fellow butchers. His corpse was later taken away by the police, an eyewitness told Daily Trust. Another account said, Some of Bardu's closed business partners who attempted to rescue him sustained injuries and are currently receiving treatment at the hospital. The disease reportedly healed from Tabue local government area by but resided at Gidan Igwe in Sokoto North local government area. Isot Kao entries at the Sokoto Fish and Vegetables Market. One of his neighbors, identified as Malam Yusuf, described his death as painful. Usman is my immediate neighbor. He is a very religious. He is very religious, in fact. He belonged to Izala set. We prayed and attended Tafer together at primary board quarters. There is no way he could have made such a statement against the Holy Prophet. There must be a reason behind his mother because he's very popular in his business of selling cow entries and was envied by, envied by many of his colleagues, he said. A trader who sells perishable goods at Kasuwa, Dankuri, meats and vegetable market, whose stand was next to that of Buddha, also expressed shock over the tragic incident. I have not been myself since I heard about what happened. I know Usman liked, liked arguments on religious issues. But I did not hear him even for once using deligatory remarks against the prophet's companions. He, he said. However, the specific statement made by Badu, which was considered to be blasphemous, was not stated in the report. Meanwhile, the state police command has confirmed the mob killing. The command said it, it received a distress call at about 9.20 a.m. that one Usman Badu of Gwandu, local government area, a butcher at Sokoto Abattoir, allegedly blasphemed the holy prophet Muhammad, so, and as a result, he was mobbed and attacked. Upon receiving the information, the commission of police, area commander, Metro and DPO Ukwani, 
led a team of policemen and all after professional operation, operational commanders to the scene. On arrival, the mob escaped and the scene and left the victim or conscience where he was rescued and taken to Usma Danfodion Teaching Hospital Sokoto, UDUTH, for treatment and was later confirmed dead. A statement signed by the spokesperson for the police command, ASP, Ahmed Rafael, said, Meanwhile, investigation is on to the arrest the perpetrators and bring them to book, it added. In May 2022, Sahara reporters reported how a female student of Shewu Shagari College of Education in Sokoto, Deborah Samuel, was born to death by her colleagues for allegedly insulting Prophet Mohammed. She was beaten and killed by a Muslim student who dragged her out of her hotel, hostel. Meanwhile, her gruesome mother was connected to a voice note the disease sent to her class WhatsApp group. According to a Twitter link, as seen by Sahara reporters, the female student was said to have sent a voice note protesting against the incessant sending of unnecessary messages to the group by her mates. Her death attracted the outrage of many Nigerians, including the Sultan of Sokoto State, who condemned the unwarranted attack and called on the police to invest, investigate and arrest the perpetrators. However, over a year after her gruesome murder, the police haven't yet to arrest any of her killers. Now, they don't kill another one. So, now so we go see here, this one, they never go see, see anybody when do one. Now so you be, Nigerians, there is fire on the mountain. I am dropping it and guys, kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. If you have not, thank you.